12 strange signs that you may have a bile deficiency. Bile is an important liquid made by your liver and your gallbladder. When you eat food that contains any type of fat, bile is released into your gut to help break down and digest your food. It helps to absorb fat-soluble nutrients and to eliminate toxins out of the body. Unfortunately, many people suffer from low bile, which can increase your risk of having gallstones. In this video, we'll explore the top 12 signs and symptoms of a bile deficiency, why this happens at all, and how to overcome this problem using natural remedies. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical issues at all. Now, the first symptom of a bile deficiency is frequent constipation. Eating fat helps to stimulate the flow of bile from your gallbladder, which then lubricates the colon and helps you to pass stools. If you don't have enough bile, however, you may often become constipated, which can cause damage to the digestive system long term. Symptom number two is right shoulder pain. Frequent pain or tightness in the right shoulder, neck, jaw, or just beneath the shoulder blade may be caused by bile sludge. This is a situation where the bile becomes thicker and it starts to clog up the little ducts connected to your liver and gallbladder. This can put pressure on the phrenic nerve which runs up your right side, causing referred pain on the right-sided muscles of the back and the neck. Symptom number three is bloating and indigestion. After you eat a fatty meal, bile is needed to help break down those fats into smaller particles for digestion. However, if you have a deficiency in bile, you may find that you become very bloated when eating any type of fat. This is a good indication that you need to improve your bile flow, which we'll talk about later in the video. Sign number four is greasy, pale, or floating stools. When you go to the toilet, if you notice that your stool floats, or is a very pale color, this is a classic sign of a bile deficiency. This means that your stool still contains some undigested fats from your food, which should have been broken down by the bile. This causes the stool to be lighter in color, and occasionally it can float rather than sink. Which leads me on to number 5, gallstones. When your liver or your gallbladder becomes congested with fatty deposits, your bile tends to become thicker. Also, if you're following a low-fat diet, bile can start to become thicker because it's not being released as it should be. Bile thickens and crystallizes to form gallstones over time, which may cause vomiting and nausea after eating, sometimes resulting in gallbladder removal surgery, which is quite invasive. Symptom number six is abdominal pain or rib pain. Bile sludge that builds up inside the gallbladder is made out of concentrated cholesterol. This can trigger pain in the right side of the abdomen or one of the ribs along the right side of your body. This causes pressure to build up in the gallbladder, which irritates the cartilage of the ribs, causing some severe pain. As a side note, if you sit at a desk all day, the little rib hinges in your back may also start to seize up, and this puts even more pressure on the right quadrant, causing this pain. Symptom 7 of a bile deficiency is dry eyes and skin. Be aware that bile is extremely important because it allows our bodies to absorb fat-soluble nutrients from the food, like vitamin A or vitamin E. Without enough bile, however, you may develop dry eyes which feel gritty or even dry skin because your body is unable to absorb these nutrients from your food due to the lack of bile. Sign number 8 is night blindness. The active form of vitamin A is called retinol, and this is obtained mostly from saturated fat and animal-based foods. Contrary to popular belief, there's actually no active vitamin A in carrots, just a precursor called beta-carotene. Anyway, a lack of bile can lead to problems seeing at night, especially when driving as the lights may appear as halos or blurry. Improving your bile flow using the methods that we'll discuss later can help you to absorb more retinol, 
which is vitamin A, and support healthy vision. Next we have jaundice and bruising. If the little bile ducts become congested with thickened bile or a gallstone, the eyes may begin to change to a yellow color, or even the skin. Likewise, if you bruise easily, this can indicate that you have a vitamin K1 deficiency, possibly because you aren't absorbing it properly with the right level of bile. And number 10 is a skin rash. Bile is very important when it comes to breaking down toxins and poisons in the body into harmless water-soluble particles. A lack of bile may cause toxins to leak into the skin, causing an itchy red rash on the upper chest, back, or abdomen. This is very common for people on the ketogenic diet, and it can be overcome by using a supplement of bile salts, along with some vitamin B2 from nutritional yeast. Next we have a pot-shaped belly caused by fatty liver disease. Did you know that around 1 in 3 people in the U.S. suffer from what's called fatty liver disease, which is due to eating too many sugary foods, vegetable oils, and alcohol? This can cause damage and inflammation in the liver, which causes a large pot-shaped belly to form, and this congestion often blocks the flow of bile from being released. Taking bile in the form of a supplement or increasing your own natural bile flow can help to strip fat away from your liver in order to reverse this condition, so that's definitely worth knowing. And finally, number 12 is weakened muscles. As we age, our bodies struggle to hold on to proteins in the muscles and the skin, causing us to slowly waste away. A bile deficiency is one of the main culprits behind this. As without enough bile, you aren't able to absorb vitamin E to support the proteins. And you also won't be able to absorb the fats that are needed to build anti-aging hormones, such as testosterone and growth hormone, in both women and men. What causes a bile deficiency? Now that you've learned a little bit about bile and the symptoms of a deficiency, you may be asking, why am I deficient in bile in the first place? Well, firstly, not eating enough fat in your diet can cause your bile to thicken into a sludge, which eventually can lead to hardened cholesterol stones. There's also the issue of dehydration. Over 95% of bile is made out of water, so if you don't drink enough water, or you're consuming too much alcohol, this will reduce your bile flow. Bile is also originally made by your liver, and then it's stored in your gallbladder. If you have inflammation in your liver, or a fatty liver, it may not be able to make and release enough bile as it should. There's also the issue of having your gallbladder removed. As your gallbladder stores and concentrates your bile, without it, you'll simply have a drip coming directly from your liver. And this can make the bile weaker, so you may need to take a supplement. A choline deficiency can also be a cause of bile deficiency. This is a nutrient found in egg yolks. And also, any type of gut damage from taking antibiotics or eating junk foods can cause less friendly bacteria in the gut. And these are also needed to recycle the bile. How to increase your bile? If you believe you do have a bile deficiency, there are some simple ways to improve your diet and start making and releasing more bile. 1. Take a digestive enzyme supplement which contains ox bile or purified bile salts after each meal. This supplement will help to reintroduce bile back into your system in order to break down fatty foods and keep your gallbladder and liver healthy. 2. Start adding fresh ginger and raw lemon juice into your diet. You could make ginger and lemon tea, add ginger into curries, or you can take it as a supplement. Ginger increases the flow of bile from your liver and gallbladder, also helping to treat nausea. Avoid this however if you have diarrhea, as it can sometimes make the situation worse. 3. When eating saturated fats, opt for high-quality varieties. You can do this by eating grass-fed meats, pasture-raised eggs, and cheese from grass-fed cows. Eating organic produce, such as vegetables, 
can also help to protect your liver from building up toxins from pesticides and other chemicals that are usually sprayed on conventionally grown foods. For dot load up on bitter vegetables, including Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, artichoke, dandelion, turmeric, and milk thistle. These carefully selected items all have been shown to improve liver function to increase the production of bile. 5. That drink at least 1 liter of mineral water every single day, preferably a bottled variety from a volcanic source. This hydrates the bile to help thin it out, making it easier to flow through the ducts from the gallbladder or the liver into the small intestine. And 6. Improve the health of your gut and your microbiome by eating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kefir, kimchi, and pickles. These can boost friendly microbes in your intestine, which helps to recycle your bile. Summary Bile is one of the most important liquids in the body. Made by your liver and concentrated in your gallbladder. Deficiencies in this can lead to malabsorption of fat-soluble nutrients, including vitamins A, E, D, K, K2, and many phytonutrients as well. A lack of bile can also cause fat and toxins to build up in the liver, causing long-term health problems and also constipation. By improving your diet and increasing bile using natural remedies, you can help to protect your liver, the most important organ in the body, performing over 500 key functions. Bile also helps to prevent the formation of gallstones, bile sludge, and any type of digestive problem. Since bile is made in the liver, you may want to watch this video on the top foods to clean out your fatty liver. Thanks once more for watching another of my educational videos. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.